Have you ever stopped to ponder why we celebrate Christmas the way we do? This question, my friends, takes us on a fascinating journey back in time, to a period long before the birth of Christ. To understand the origins of Christmas, we must first venture into the heart of winter, where ancient civilizations marked the passing of the seasons with grand feasts and celebrations. The Romans, for instance, honored Saturn, the god of agriculture, with a week-long festival known as Saturnalia. This merry affair held in mid-December was marked by banquets, gift-giving, and a temporary reversal of social roles where slaves were treated as masters. Around the same time in the frozen lands of Northern Europe, the Germanic and Nordic tribes celebrated Yule. This midwinter festival welcomed the return of the sun, with feasts, bonfires, and the burning of the Yule log, a tradition that continues to this day. It was into this world of pre-Christian winter festivals that the celebration of Christmas was born. The question of when to celebrate the birth of Christ was a topic of great debate among early Christians. There was no consensus, and the Bible offered no specific date. However, it was around the 4th century that a significant shift occurred. The church, in a bid to Christianize popular pagan festivals, decided to coincide the celebration of Christ's birth with the winter solstice. This period, already marked by feasting and celebration, seemed a fitting time to honor the Son of Righteousness. Thus, the 25th of December was chosen, a date close to the winter solstice. So, as we unwrap our gifts and gather around the Christmas tree, we are, in fact, participating in traditions shaped by ancient civilizations. Our modern Christmas, with its blend of Christian and pagan elements, is a testament to the enduring power of these age-old celebrations. So, the roots of Christmas lie not only in Christianity, but also in several other ancient cultures and traditions. As we journey further into the past, we encounter the adoption of Christmas by Christianity. The threads of this tale weave us back to Rome in the year 336, where the first recorded celebration of Christmas on December 25th took place. But why this particular date, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies with two influential figures of the era, Emperor Constantine, the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity and Pope Julius I. Constantine declared Christianity the favored religion, paving the way for a significant shift in religious observances. Pope Julius I, on the other hand, is often credited with assigning the birth of Jesus Christ to the 25th of December, aligning it with the winter solstice and various popular pagan festivals. This move was strategic, intended to ease the transition from paganism to Christianity by allowing converts to retain their familiar celebrations. However, it's crucial to note that Christmas wasn't an immediate hit. In fact, in the early days of Christianity, it was considered a minor holiday. The focus of the faithful was primarily on Easter, the day of Christ's resurrection, which was viewed as more significant. Yet over the centuries, the celebration of Christmas began to gain traction. As Christianity spread across Europe and into other parts of the world, so did the observance of Christmas. It absorbed a variety of local customs and traditions along the way, morphing into a unique blend of religious reverence and festive merriment. In the Middle Ages, Christmas evolved further, incorporating elements like the nativity scene and Christmas carols. It was during this period that Christmas began to hold a more prominent place in Christian liturgical calendars. Thus, Christmas found its way into Christian traditions, emerging as a significant celebration over time. Its journey from a minor holiday to one of the most widely celebrated occasions in the world is a testament to the enduring power of shared traditions and the capacity of humanity to adapt and evolve. As we move into the Middle Ages, the celebration of Christmas takes on new forms. The Middle Ages, a period spanning roughly from the 5th to the 15th centuries, was a time of tremendous change and development, and Christmas was no exception. The celebration of this significant event began to evolve taking on new traditions and customs that would shape the way it is celebrated today. One of the most notable introductions during this era was that of Christmas carols. These were not the cheerful tunes we are familiar with today, but rather solemn hymns sung in Latin. Over time, however, they evolved into the joyful songs we know and love, filled with messages of peace, joy, and goodwill. The tradition of nativity plays also has its roots in the Middle Ages. The church would stage these plays to depict the story of Jesus' birth a practice that was both a form of worship and a way of educating the largely illiterate public about the Christian faith. These plays were often grand affairs with elaborate costumes and sets, and they were a highlight of the Christmas season. But Christmas in the Middle Ages was not just about solemn worship. 
It was also a time of great festivity. Feasting and merrymaking were an integral part of the celebrations. In fact, the holiday season was so important that work was often suspended, allowing everyone to partake in the festivities. However, it's important to remember that the Middle Ages was a time of stark contrasts. While there was joy and celebration, there was also hardship. The cold winter months were a challenging time for many and the Christmas season offered a much needed respite and a chance to come together in the spirit of community and camaraderie. The Middle Ages truly shaped the Christmas that we know and celebrate today. From the solemn hymns to the festive celebrations, the traditions that began during this time have endured, giving us the rich and varied Christmas celebrations we enjoy in the present day. Fast forward to more recent times, and we find Christmas undergoing yet another transformation. In the modern era, the spirit of Christmas was shaped by the creative genius of writers like Charles Dickens and Washington Irving. Dickens, with his timeless classic, A Christmas Carol, painted a picture of Christmas as a time of goodwill, charity, and family togetherness. His story of Ebenezer Scrooge's redemption resonated with readers, and the idea of Christmas as a time for kindness and generosity took root. In the same vein, Washington Irving, through his whimsical tales, depicted an idealized Christmas setting that harked back to England's past. His stories, filled with merriment, feasting, and good cheer, further entrenched the idea of Christmas as a time of joy and celebration. This era also saw the birth of new traditions, the Christmas tree, an evergreen symbol of life and hope in the midst of winter, made its way into homes. The tradition, which originated in Germany, quickly spread across Europe and America, adding a new charm to the festive season. Similarly, the practice of sending Christmas cards began. These heartfelt messages, sent to loved ones near and far, added a personal touch to the holiday and served to strengthen the bonds of friendship and family. And then, of course, there's the jolly figure of Santa Claus. Inspired by the real-life St. Nicholas and popularized by Clement Clark Moore's poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, Santa Claus became the embodiment of the holiday spirit. His story, which emphasizes generosity and kindness, perfectly encapsulates the essence of the season. With these new traditions and influences, Christmas evolved into a family-centered holiday of peace and nostalgia. It became a time to gather with loved ones, to share meals, exchange gifts, and create memories. The modern era not only transformed Christmas but also entrenched it in our hearts and cultures. Today, Christmas stands as a global celebration, transcending the bounds of religion and geography. It's an occasion that unites people across the world, with each culture infusing its unique flavor into the festivities. From the vibrant paroles illuminating the streets of the Philippines to the hearty Christmas dinners in the United States, the diversity of traditions and customs is truly astounding. Let's delve into the kaleidoscope of Christmas celebrations across the globe. In Australia, where December ushers in summer, Christmas might mean a beach barbecue under the warm sun. Meanwhile, in northern countries like Finland, it's a magical time of snow-covered landscapes and the ethereal glow of the northern lights. The Christmas season has also become synonymous with a surge in commercial activities. The twinkling lights, the festive music, the hustle and bustle of shoppers, it's all part of the Yuletide ambiance. The holiday season has indeed been commercialized, with businesses around the world capitalizing on the festive spirit. From the sale of Christmas trees and decorations to the flurry of gift shopping, it's a time of significant economic activity. Yet, beneath the commercial veneer, the essence of Christmas remains. It's a time of togetherness, of family and friends gathering around the hearth, sharing stories, laughter, and the warmth of human connection. It's a time of charity, when people reach out to those less fortunate, extending a helping hand and spreading the spirit of goodwill. Christmas today is a beautiful blend of the old and the new. While we've retained and cherished age-old traditions, we've also embraced new ones reflecting the changing times in our evolving society. Whether it's the age-old practice of attending midnight mass or the modern custom of watching Christmas movies in pajamas, each tradition holds a special place in our hearts. And so, Christmas continues to evolve, bringing joy and warmth into our lives every year. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of this beloved celebration, a beacon of hope and happiness that lights up the darkest days of winter and a reminder of the indomitable human spirit.